Hi everybody. We've got a wonderful aspect that is with us all of 2017, which is the opposition of Jupiter, planet of good fortune, of expansion, of growth, opposite to Uranus, which is the awakener, moving onto a different level, a sudden breakthrough. And it's important to know where this is happening in your chart, to find out which houses of life are going to be triggered by this very fortunate aspect. It was called by the German astrologer Ebertin the thank the Lord aspect, because it often means a time of great tension. You are suddenly released from it. It's like, ah, oh, I'm released from all the chains, all the burdens, and I'm on a completely different level than I was before. It's happening, the signs Jupiter in Libra, Uranus in Aries. So Aries is about your relationship with self, and Libra is relationships with other people. So you could have a huge awakening as far as relationships are concerned. We may have breakthroughs in peace talks this year, in the ability to bring about peace inside of ourselves, as well as peace in our relationships. It can bring you sudden, unexpected success, a sudden windfall, an awakening. Uranus is the planet of awakening. So it could be a Kundalini awakening where all your chakras come alive, every part of your body just, uh, you, you see life from a completely new perspective. It really is a wonderful, wonderful aspect. It's exact on December the 27th of 2016, again on March 7th of 2017, and September 27th, also of September of uh, 2017. It can also bring fated encounters. People who've maybe found it difficult to meet somebody. All of a sudden, out of the blue, in the least expected manner, you meet somebody. It could be a romance, could also be a wonderful friendship, a deep heart connection with somebody. All these things are really possible with this aspect. We may see great breakthroughs, particularly this year, in technology, in science, in space travel, everything to do with ETs. Uranus would also rule astrology. We might have some breakthroughs in the field of astrology. Astrology is gradually I won't say it's mainstream yet, but there are a lot of people who are interested in it, and a lot of people, as they begin to learn it, really see its validity. So I think there could be awakening in the people as to all these esoteric arts, but particularly astrology, being ruled by Uranus and awakening into this and seeing its value and seeing how it can really empower you. Because what this aspect is showing you is where you really need to get out of your own way, in a sense, out of time and space. Uh, we've got uh, Jupiter in an air sign, Uranus in a fire sign. So these are upward energies, yes, really um, going out and above. It's like when um, people go into space and they, say the, they see the Earth, how beautiful it is from that distance, that perspective. No boundaries, no countries, no, it's just this beautiful um, orb or beautiful bow. I mean, I haven't done it yet. I'd love to go into space, who knows? Um, but th that beauty that you can see from that distance. So you'll have an opportunity to see your life from a new perspective. That's how breakthroughs happen. Breakthroughs in cancer, breakthroughs in remission of serious diseases of the physical body. 
Let me go through the houses. See if you can find out where it's happening in your chart. And so it's going to be falling in two houses. They're opposite one another. So let's say it's falling in your first seventh house axis. This is going to be everything to do with your relationships and also an awakening to yourself. You might be reinventing yourself. You might also um, have a brand new perspective on an existing relationship or a new relationship that comes in that's tremendously exciting um, and being around this person feels so creative, feels so inspiring and uplifting. It can bring disruption. There's no, no question that Uranus is the disruptor as well. But it disrupts in order to bring about a new mental functioning. If Mercury is the lower mind, the mind that says, oh, you need to add that to your list today, or you haven't phoned that person, Uranus is the higher mind, connecting to source energy, that energy that keeps you alive. If you had to think about keeping your heart beating, about dealing with your digestion, <laughs> you wouldn't be able to function. All those things are taken care of. But what if you could actually get in touch with that intelligence that's inside of you, that is unlimited, that is boundless, that's what this is uh, giving you the possibility to open inside of you. It's important during this time, if you can, to get times where uh, you can either, you're either being very creative, maybe you're doing music, painting, cooking, gardening, where you're outside of the, the confines of feeling as though you've got appointments and structures and that you feel that sense of expansion because that sense of expansion is what draws something new and when you're expanding often it hurts I don't know about you but you know when I'm training you know opening my body to new positions you know it's not been standing up straight for nearly 40 years it's been stooped for a very long time it's quite uncomfortable but you can train it it can get used to being in a more positive posture. What can you do that takes you out of that rigidity and catapults you into something new? So get ready for some exciting surprises. If it's in the second and eighth houses that are being triggered, that's your finances. Could be a sudden windfall, it could be a sudden shift in how you earn money, how you see money and finance and your value and your worth and suddenly a new perspective. Because the moment you value your work and what you do, other people do too. Magically, that seems to happen. This is a magical aspect. I call the video the orgasm of life. Because really, when you're in touch with everything and really conscious, it's about becoming more conscious. Virtually everything can be an orgasmic experience. And I'm not talking about sex here, I'm just talking about everything that you do. I certainly get those feelings when I'm creating paintings when I'm uh, composing music, when I'm listening to music, when I'm out in nature, if you really allow that energy through you, it is orgasmic, is it not? I'm sure I get a lot of comments from this, but so what? This is about opening us up to more. It's the feeling of not enough and lack that creates competition, that creates pain, that creates all those things of violence, all those things are created by that sense of having to tighten up and this is mine. But what if we experience that everything is available to us if we can but just connect with that divine energy? Just some thoughts here. The third and the ninth houses. Well, you might be communicating to people all over the world. You might create a viral video you might suddenly unexpectedly be traveling somewhere very exciting. You might meet somebody overseas through some very exciting connection. You might 
um, uh, develop something on the spiritual level to a brand new way, something different. If it's in the fourth and tenth houses, you might be moving. You might be changing your career, expanding your career, expanding it out. For me, it's hitting this career and home axis. Not surprisingly, um, I've opened out now to um, the channeling. And channeling, really, for those of you who got a little afraid of the channeling, channeling is nothing more than tuning in to the divine force of life that runs through all of us. It's just that you're doing it more consciously. You're asking for it, and you're asking for more. So there may be some sudden shift, exciting, uh, inspirational things. I'm certainly going to be doing some new and exciting things with you during 2017, so watch this space. But you, if it's happening for you, you might have sudden career success. You might be catapulted out of a very restricted kind of career, and you might say to yourself, no, I'm going to do what I'm passionate about. And it might uh, uh, mean that you have to move country, or move location, or move your family. Make a big move. I've seen this happening in my um, fish man. He sells me the fish every day, Andreas, uh, every few days. Um, and um, he, it's happening on his fourth house. And uh, he realizes he's got to make a huge shift and he's going to be selling the business, moving out of Athens, having a whole new career. So who knows what that might mean for you if it's in the fourth and tenth houses. If it's in the fifth and eleventh houses, wow, this could mean the birth, a birth of you, a birth of a child, the birth of your creativity. You might be speaking and connecting with people in huge groups. You might be involved in a huge humanitarian community project. You might get into an exciting love affair and have this most tremendously inspiring, uplifting uh, romance. And if it falls in your sixth and twelfth houses, this could be the most wonderful opportunity for you to have a breakthrough in your health and your well-being. You may have an opportunity to completely recalibrate your system, your nervous system, especially because Uranus would rule the nerves and the brain, the, the reconnecting of all those synapses and everything so that you can uh, renew yourself completely. It could be very rejuvenating and enlivening. And the 12th house part of it could be an internal awakening. Really, maybe for those of you who meditate or do yoga, it could be that kundalini awakening where everything comes to life for you. You may also, um, it's the house of research, you may also get some exciting information, something that's really juicy that you could use maybe for your career or for something that would be really valuable and helpful. It's also the place where um, things found in a laboratory, things that are done in private, in secret, could be very fruitful. And it could also uh, bring some kind of a, a secret connection, something that's done that is an unseen but very powerful. A small example of that might be um, when you are uh, doing telepathy with somebody when you say the same thing as somebody else does right at that same moment. So synchronicities coming into your life, magical things. This is a magical aspect. I had to share it with you, being a Sun-Jupiter person, and I really hope that it's very beneficial and enjoyable for you. I'm excited to hear your comments and your views. Thank you for liking the video.